Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. We are quarantined day six and it's Saturday. Now, normally on a Saturday, what would you do? You wouldn't have school, you wouldn't have work. So what do you do all day? Well, you play with your toys, of course. So as you can see, I have a pretty extensive collection of Hesh trucks. Uh, I've been getting them since I was basically born, you know, in the early 1980s. And what I want to do with you today is kind of go through some of them, uh, kind of point out some of the ones that meant a little extra to me and why, uh, what my thoughts were of the Hesh truck growing up as a kid and why I still collect them till this day. To me, the Hesh truck was all about the excitement of the holidays. You know, it was that one special gift that you knew you were going to get for Christmas. And it was one of those things you waited for and you anticipated. And as a child growing up in like the 1980s and in the early 1990s, uh, as I remember it, it was really special and exciting to find out what the new truck was going to be. Because it wasn't like today where you had the internet and you could, you know, things were released so early on social media and you can find out, you know, information ahead of time. Back when I was a child, the only way I remember learning about the new Hesh truck was the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Like you watch that parade on Thanksgiving and eventually the commercial would pop up within that parade. That was the first time you really got to see it that I can remember. I mean, I remember to the point that I'd be watching TV, you start to hear a little jingle play, you realize it's the Hesh truck commercial, I'd be screaming to my family to, to run in here that it's on, it's on, it's on, and they, literally my entire family would run in and we'd all like crowd around the TV and see what that next truck was gonna be. And then like all the excitement that led up to that commercial, once you saw it, now you had to wait the whole season till it get to Christmas morning to actually get it, you know? So it was just a really an exciting time as a child growing up. And that was back in the 1980s. And that's what we're gonna start talking about the trucks that I have. And these are the trucks, you know, as a baby at two or three years old, I got my first Hesh truck and I still have it till this day. And I tell you, the condition's not great. I mean, the battery cover is missing, it's missing the hose, the mirrors are broken off, you know, it's missing tires. Like, it's in bad shape because it was played with. Yeah, you know, I was two or three years old. You know, this was either a 1982 or a 1983 model. I went on HestToyTruck.com and they have a whole website devoted to these trucks, which is awesome. And it looks like they made this truck two years. Uh, the next one would be the 1984. This was uh, like an 18 wheeler style tanker truck. It had working lights. Unfortunately, the headlights busted, the mirrors are busted, the air horns are off the roof. You know, again, this was something that was played with. I don't have a 1985, and what I looked up is, it's the same truck basically as this, but it's a bank as well. Uh, so either I got it and it broke and lost it, or whatever the case may be, or I never got it at all, I don't know. Uh, next one, 1986, you go to a fire truck. 1987, you go to a uh, box truck, it's got movable doors, with three oil barrels, which I amazingly still have. 1988, you go to the truck that carted around the, the race car, the Hess race car. And then in 1989, you close out the decade with a fire truck. And this fire truck, I did put batteries in this one uh, because I want to check it out. They all have working headlights and stuff like that. I should rephrase that. Originally, they all have working headlights. They don't all have working headlights anymore. But the reason I wanted to point this one out is this one actually has working sirens, two different variety to you know really annoy your parents all day long as you roll this thing all over the floor. Um, I mean, I guess now toys all have that sort of stuff, so you know it's no different than what it, what it is now than what it was back then. This is what I had in the 1980s, and what I see here is I see how fast you grow as a child and how you start learning lessons very early on in life because these first trucks are kind of destroyed because they were played with and they were looked at as toys. These were also looked at as toys, they were played with. However, at the age of you know seven, eight, and nine, you already started learning lessons uh, from your parents about keeping the box. Make sure you keep all the parts and pieces. Try to take care of it, because if you take care of it, maybe one day it'll be worth something down the road. Um, you know, so in the 1980s, playing with Hesh trucks, I'm already learning about life. And sometimes you learn the easy way, and sometimes you learn the hard way. And 1990 started with me learning the hard way with this truck right here because I saw the commercial, I was excited about it. It's sort of known that, yeah, you're gonna get the Hesh truck for Christmas this year because it was, uh, it was something I cared about. It was part of a, a, a tradition for me. And in 1990, at 10 years old, listen, I may not have been the best kid in the world. I was good, but I like to push the envelope. Maybe I lied a little bit to my parents, whatever the case may be, I don't remember. But I remember getting threatened that I was not gonna get the Hesh truck that year. You wake up Christmas morning, you start unwrapping gifts, and you realize you didn't get the Hesh truck this year. 
And I was sort of devastated, you know, I, I was a lesson that I had learned. And, you know, I was told I wasn't going to get it if I wasn't good. I guess whatever I was doing, I was being bad. And my parents were very good to follow up with that. And the lesson I learned very early in life is there's consequences to your actions. You know, you keep pushing somebody a certain way, one day they're going to push back. And my parents pushed back and they didn't buy this Hess truck. And uh, I ended up getting it that summer at a, at a flea market or so. And my father had to pay like three times the amount to get it. And then I found out after the fact that he was devastated himself because he went to get it. You know, it was way different back then. You didn't just go online and buy these trucks. You had to buy them at the gas station. Here in New Jersey, there was a couple in Woodbridge. There was one out in Clinton on Route 31. And I think there was one out in Pennsylvania, out in East Stroudsburg. Like other than that, there wasn't many Hess stations. So when these trucks came out, you had to get out there to get the truck. And they had to still have them in stock because things sold out. It's not like it is today where these things are mass produced. But anyway, I was happy to get the truck and continue on with the collection. Uh, other ones that came out that year, a lot of little mini cars uh, that were inside trucks. Uh, that was the sort of the thing, to put something inside the truck. You had these two, which was a cop car. This I thought was pretty cool because this is like a Crown Vic style police car. And my parents had a Crown Victoria, you know, so that was that was pretty cool having a car that was very similar to the car that you were in all the time. Um, this is pretty amazing, which I didn't even notice this. Now, one of the things is we're into the 1990s now. Once you get to be like 11, 12, 13, you stop playing with this stuff, but you still collect it. But check this one out. You hit this button, it's got a satellite. I mean, this is pretty high tech stuff here. It's pretty neat. The build quality is fantastic on them too. I mean, kids today gotta love these things. Look at all these. Uh -oh. I don't think it broke. So this is it. This is 2000 to 2019. Now the only one I'm missing is 2005, which I can't find. I know I have it. I just don't know where it is. It's not where it should be because I'm pretty organized. But um, look at all these things. Most of these were never even opened. This one's got a plane. They started getting a little crazy when they started adding all sorts of things. You saw the spaceship earlier. This one has an airplane, like a biplane on it. This one's a helicopter with a little uh, Jeep and a motorcycle. F1 race cars. You know what? I'm gonna open one of these. Which one should I open? This one's got a bulldozer. These are all the new ones. So this stuff everyone's familiar with. All these green boxes, this is from 2016 and up. So 16, 17, 18, and 19. Um, you know, this is all the stuff that people know. These, I, I haven't even opened these up. I never even looked at them before, which actually gives you a second to kind of appreciate, appreciate what they are. The new one has like a wrecker, it's a tow truck. This is a 2015 red fire truck. Uh, what do we got here? We got some sort of a fighter jet, space cruiser with a scout. A space cruiser with a scout. What does that even mean? Another bulldozer, a fighter jet. We got a helicopter with an emergency vehicle, rescue vehicle, another race car. You know, so the themes are pretty similar going year to year. Um, the build quality is fantastic. I feel like opening one up. I'm gonna open this one right here, just for fun. You know, in the past, it's always like, you want an unopened box, this way it's worth more. And these trucks really aren't worth all that much. You know, it's funny, I was looking up online earlier if I wanted to buy the um, if I wanted to buy the 1980 uh, training van, I mean you can get them for 70 bucks on eBay, you know, in, in better condition than what mine are from earlier from earlier days. So if I ever wanted to, I could always pick that stuff up uh, up online. Put some batteries in this one. There is batteries in this one. Well, they don't work that good. You can put better batteries in this one. So what do you guys think? Who has Hess trucks out there? Do you have a collection as big as this? Is there anyone out there that has them from back in the 80s? Do you still have them? These batteries are not that great. So uh, I noticed some of them, I noticed some of them have, uh, oh, this does have it. Oh, that's the thing. That's what's new for the kids today. That button didn't do anything. Got a backup alarm. What's nice with this is 
after a certain amount of time, it turns itself off. Really nice build quality, you know? I mean, this is a solid, solid toy. Oh, this one's got powered wheels. I mean, come on, how cool is that? Kids today got some cool stuff to play with. I tell you though, you know, just going through this is like going down memory lane for me, you know? It's, it's nice to take a break from reality of life and just, you know, focus on something that, that brings the kid out of you, you know what I mean? It, and makes you feel kind of young again. Uh, the, the important trucks to me are those ones in the past. You know, those are the ones that I played with and those are the ones that you kind of grew up with. All these new ones now, like I said, you get it for the holidays, you buy it for yourself. You know, I buy them for myself now and I just, I put it in storage. But you gotta keep the collection going. You know, it's one of those things, like if you, if you didn't get the newest one, the PC would be missing, you know what I mean? So I'm gonna keep the collection going. I would love to hear if you guys got a collection yourself and, and which ones you like and that sort of thing. And uh, that's pretty much it for today, man. This was quarantine day six. Little stroll down memory lane uh, with a Hesh truck collection. I'll see you guys tomorrow, day seven.